this is pretty cool. So, uh, who are you? Dan Gilbert. Yep. And who are you? Joya Messinger. I'm the founder and CEO and sort of VP of marketing. Of what? Co of this company, View, right? Uh, the company's Avok. Avok. And View is our product. And that's a little tiny camera sitting right. over there, and it's it's broadcasting wirelessly to the web. It is. That's right. What we've created is a network of very small cameras that stream video, full motion video, direct to the internet, viewable from anywhere you are on any browser. Oh, that is very cool. How much do these things cost? A system counting for two cameras, a gateway and a service is two ninety nine to start, and okay. then additional cameras are ninety nine, and you can add up to fifty cameras to your network with one hub. With one hub. With no uh, uh, same service hurt, hurting in the service no. at all. That's right. Right. How do you? So how does this work? Because it's not Wi Fi. I, I asked if if it was using Wi Fi. It's using a, your own protocol. We, we, to, to make this work and have these cameras last, these cameras last a year on a battery. Have that last that long, we had to develop a new protocol. Wait a second. There's no. That's right. There's no power cord. No. And it lasts a year on the battery. Lasts a year on a battery. It, yep. Ten minutes a day. Ten Recording minutes a ten day. minutes a day. Oh, uh, ten minutes a day. So right. if I want to leave it up all day long, yeah, so people can watch. Six hundred minutes. Okay. But it's only streaming when you're watching. So it's only the cameras when you're watching on the internet. That's the only time the cameras actually. I, I would have people watching all the time. <laughs> I have a lot of stalkers. You know, <laughs> stuff occurring in your, in your neighborhood. <laughs> well, that that's interesting too because, like, um, I was just in a company that's put in, that's thinking of putting some of these cameras up to build a reality type, type uh -huh. TV show. Is it motion based? How does it know that I, I, somebody's actually watching? No, we built this for consumers that want to, from remotely, see what's going on in their home or their small business or their office. Okay. And so it's meant to be just that. When you're away, you can look online or on your iPhone and see what's going on. Okay. So when you're actually looking is when the cameras are activated. Uh, so interesting. That's how it works. So that's can, the use Can I model. put them up on a website so that tons of people can look at them? Right, right. Right. When we launch, you can actually store content and post the stored content at the website. Okay. And you can actually friend a camera to a group of friends so they can see the camera live. What you're talking about is public viewing. We're going, we're going to launch, but it won't be available right at that launch. It'll be available a couple months after launch. Okay. So this is really great for uh, like a baby security camera or watching a nanny at, at I think work the use model, I mean, any, anything like that. I mean, a lot of folks have kids at home alone after school, and they just want to be sure that they're safe and, and they're in the building. They might have, you know, an interesting collection they don't get to see very often. When we had one guy that had a car collection, wanted to keep track of his car collection. Uh, we've had people that had second homes and wanted to know what's going on in the second home. And not so much from a security point of view, but they're just curious. Yeah. They want to know when the deer's in the backyard or when somebody pulls up to their dock. So uh, I think there's just a tremendous need to see what's going on remotely. To date, it's very, very hard to do that, almost impossible. And we've made that really simple. Now, what, one uh, place I could see this, I, I work upstairs. And when somebody rings the doorbell, I don't know if I really want to answer the door or not, you know, and go downstairs and deal with it. <laughs> and there's a phone going off. Um, can I put this outside, you know, by my do front door and then call into it when somebody rings the doorbell? Sure. Um, this version you can put under an eaves or something. Yeah. Um, you couldn't put this version out in the middle of a rainstorm. We'll develop weatherized versions, you know, as, as we go forward. Okay. But you certainly can put it outside. But it's where there's no, no water. No, under an eaves. I mean, Joya has her cameras in her backyard. And she's watching them all the time. Okay. And um, so let's re review again how much this is because I want to buy one. It's really cool. It's uh, for two cameras with the hub. It's how much? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. And it pl so the hub does it plug into your network or does it plug into your USB port? No, it just plugs directly into your home router. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it plugs into your home router directly, and we also have uh, a USB, and you can use a Wi-Fi dongle so that it can connect to your Wi-Fi network at home or in your business. So oh, cool. Either way, and it's zero configuration networking. All you do is plug it in, and uh, this thing finds our data centers and. Uh, uh, you don't have to you don't have to set up any IP ports or DNSs or uh, open any firewalls or, or ports in the firewall. It just automatically finds our data center and starts streaming video to the web or to your iPhone. That's interesting. Um, how else? What else do I need to know about this thing? 
uh, and I don't need any software on my. I don't even need a PC, right? No, I just need an, an internet connection. You, you need an internet connection at the location where you have your. How, how far from the base unit can the camera be? It, uh, 300 feet. It's essentially similar to Wi-Fi ranges. Uh, 300 feet, line, quote, quote unquote, line of sight. We also use these repeating devices. This is a mesh network of cameras. So we, have, we use these little repeating devices that you plug into your uh, outlet. And um, it allows for uh, up to 900 feet, so two hops. Okay. Um, or I'm sorry, three hops. And, uh, if so if I was a school or a business and yeah. I needed to spread these okay, out, a quarter mile. interesting. So I could use them for like a security camera kind of yeah. thing, or you know, low cost security camera because these are a lot lower cost than a sure. typical security. I mean, we've camera. had we had some people in our focus groups that had in San Diego County had horse farms and they wanted to put the cameras out in the barns, and that was a perfect example where they'd use a repeater to get the cameras out and, and do them. So very cool. Uh, it works on Mac or Windows. I can right, call yeah. into it. Do you want to see some of the features? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so and the, here and the quality is pretty cool. Here we we have uh, a live camera, just you know, viewing down to the street, and uh, now it looks like it's probably what five or it's eight about frames eight, a second. Ten, ten, eight, eight to ten frames per second. Okay. I just stopped it. Um, you can also record. Uh, you can take snapshots or you can kind of play with uh, contrast and brightness and so forth. Also here you can play back something that you've previously recorded. So if you have some kind of cool content that you want to um, um, you want to play back. Uh, this is something we recorded earlier. Um, that's our little street a little earlier in the day. Yeah. And um, um, you can also um, I'll close this. You can also share the content, so you can share um, uh, photos or clips. Um, you know, you can share that. Um, now, when you say share, that means share it with a group, yeah, or share it, share it with the public. Share it with the public, or okay. um, or your friends uh, via like you can send it via email, and you get a little link um, that then you can. Um, you can play it back, or you can upload it to you know your favorite photo sharing or or social sharing sites, and we'll add more yep. uh, to that. But these are the ones we're going to have at launch, and then you can save it for posterity on your own hard drive, so it comes out as a little MPEG file. Yeah, um, I can see. I can definitely see people are going to want to hook this up to UStream or or right. or, or right. Stickcam or right. one of those. Right. So also what you can do is you can friend the camera and essentially um, have a micro community of users um, see that camera. So you can add people to, yeah. uh, to that camera and just give people uh, permission to view that camera and then unfriend them. Now what kind of to. batteries does this take and, and, a, and how do I charge them up once the battery's dead? It's a, it's a CR123 lithium ion battery. You can buy rechargeable of these same type. Okay. But it's uh, just a little photo cell. Okay. Um, little tiny battery. Yeah. Cool. Just a little tiny battery, and uh, in this case here, you share to your friends and family. So if you're having an event, or you know, you you want your if you go out of town and you want your neighbor to kind of look after your house, you can yeah. have them look at it. Or if you're having an event and you want to invite your friends to come and look at your party, you can certainly do that as well. And then also you can share live, um, kind of with the you know global community of the world or the web, um, by sharing live to our viewzone.com. And here there you would have the ability to um, have anybody view it. It would become essentially a public camera. So it's similar just like to having a uStream. Similar to right. uStream. Yeah, and then you know most likely at some point or another you'd be able to you know stream to uStream or st stream to Quick or. Justin TV or somebody like that or something like that as well. Oh, that's really cool. Um, very cool. How are you guys funded? How, how did you get, how did you start this company? And we're venture financed, but uh, the company originated uh, the technology through uh, Department of Defense government grants from DARPA and the Office of Naval Research. Interesting. We created what is called Frame Mesh, which is the underlying mesh networking, ultra low power mesh networking protocol that. Uh, allows us to be able to stream video over really, really low power networks. Yeah. And um, so we're DARPA and ONR funded, we continue to be DARPA and ONR funded, and then we're venture backed by some Silicon Valley VCs. Very cool.
Yeah. I, I bet they have some fun cameras to play with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're watching us all the time, aren't they? Who uh, knows? <laughs> <laughs> now we can be the government, right? <laughs> um, doo, 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 what else do I need to know about these things? Um, there's no zoom or anything like that. Not no camera no. Cro- control. No. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but not you can put up but, so I mean, many this of kind them. of transcends. It's a monitoring product, and it kind of, it's kind of some one of those flip cameras. So it's yeah. it's super easy for somebody to set up if and if you know want to stream something to the web directly. Then it's really really simple. And, to and do. because it's web based, I mean, you can mm-hmm. see how we can really integrate more and more tightly into different web services yeah. and web offerings going forward. There's no software anywhere here that we have to configure. Yeah, so. this this is about the same price as a, as a baby monitor too. So I could see a lot of people just y- using this kind oh, of yeah, camera as so a baby versatile. monitor. And you can, like Joyce said, you can move these cameras around. If you're gone, you can use one use case. If everyone's home, you can move them all around and put them in a different room. Yeah. If you're traveling, you maybe you have a different, and your family's at home, maybe there's another use case you want to cover. Yeah. So. Um, it sticks on the wall. I, and yeah, there's little, so these little mounts. I don't know where they had another one, but they have a little peel uh, and stick backing. So you just okay. stick them up on the wall, and then the camera is magnetically attached. So we're actually shipping four mounts with every system. So you can actually put more mounts up than you have cameras and move them around. I'm yeah. recording you now. So, so you can yeah. see how yeah, there you go. the frame rate's pretty good, and it works fairly well in low light, which yeah. is good. What's the craziest thing you've seen them use for so far? Um, what have we... You know, so I'm really kind of, um, I think uh, the, the, the vet hospital would put them up so people could see their animals after surgery. Uh, that was kind of a, a neat application. Um, what else did we see in people do that? Would There's no up? way to hook power up to them, so you couldn't really use them as a traffic cam or anything like that, right? No, there's no, they're, they're, Not this, this motion is just... Yeah. 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 yeah, we've also had people um, put them up on at a bar and then kind of look at you know what's going on in, at the place that evening so they if you if you friend the cameras to um, a bunch of people then or now is it passing along audio or just the no, video just, information just video. just video so you'd have to figure out if you wanted to listen in you'd have to figure out how to put a microphone yeah, on yeah i mean we'll yeah we'll have next gen cameras with all sorts of other sensors including microphones and motion sensors and all sorts of stuff that you're Kind of describing. That's pretty cool. Still pretty cool, though. I mean, to get that that low cost, I could definitely see putting one at, at my front door because that would save me. I mean, until you appreciate how difficult the existing systems are, yeah. you won't appreciate this. But this is amazingly simple. And then the power of the net and the ability to mesh network multiple cameras in, yeah. um, it's very easy to augment and add to the system. And as we add functionality, everybody gets the functionality. Absolutely. So. Very cool. Well, thank you so yeah, much for thanks. inviting me over to see yeah. this. This is really cool. Great. And I recorded you, so maybe I'll, I'll send it to you. <laughs>